I was actually in a, in a city called Iquitos in Peru, where I'm from, and I was there for two months with my father, who was a Navy officer, where officers lived, had a swimming pool. And so um, I kind of learned to swim a little bit there. Then as a teenager, I used to surf, so I got used to being in the sea a lot in Lima. But I wasn't really a, a real swimmer. Uh, I'm not sure still whether I am, but uh, when I started trying to do uh, uh, triathlons, that's when I started training to, to learn how to swim. Open water swimming pretty much means outside the pool. Um, so you're swimming in a natural environment, be it the sea, or a lake, or a river, or something like that. I think part of it is, first of all, just being in nature and being a bit more exposed to things that are in unreal bodies of water, uh, such as tides and waves and, you know, things that live there. So you don't have to go very far and you're in a completely different world. I usually swim with a camera, so I, uh, if I see something interesting, I stop and take pictures of them, uh, of those things. There's a lot of life here. I mean, most often it's jellyfish, <laughs> which are a little scary sometimes, but especially the big ones. And then there, is, uh, there are seals and sea lions, sea stars, sea anemones. Swimming in the sea without a wetsuit, uh, just with a swimsuit, is a completely different state of being because you're in a very cold environment. Everything is a little bit different. And also there is a completely different world in the water with things that live there and, and the views of the city. And I like also doing it next to the city. I need to, to be cold before I get going. So what I do is I get in the water usually and I take a few dips and let my body cool down, especially my head. And uh, then I can go. And the reason for that is if you're already warm and you start swimming and water goes through your body and your head, it cools it down very fast. You know, once you get going, it's, um, even in the winter, it, it actually feels pretty good. But I do know that there is certainly a limit to that. I really like being in seawater. It feels really uh, natural for me. I mean, I, when I was a teenager, I used to surf in Peru, and that's all I cared about at the time. And it's something that I feel, feel very much at home in. So that's one thing I, I really enjoy, uh, sensation-wise, and just being in a space like that. Um, back when I was a teenager, I remember that, um, even though there were a lot of travels in Peru, uh, when I jumped in the sea to go surfing, uh, everything seemed just fine, <laughs> you know? I felt really at home. <laughs>